So you want to be a Forex trader. Hey everyone, this is Joshua Martinez from Mark Trades Institute, MTI's Director of Client Success. Hey, in the last video, video number seven, uh, we went ahead and drew out the uh, counter trend line breaks to give you the overall basic concept of what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, this video, we're going to jump into the live market. I'm going to show you uh, entry stops and limits, uh, the risk versus reward inside of a live trading opportunity uh, that's taking place right now. So hopefully if you see this and the trade's still going, maybe you can take advantage of it. Uh, the other thing too is I'm going to show you a plethora of examples of both counter trend line breaks and the downtrend as well as an uptrend. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply inside the live market. I'm going to show you entry, stop, and limit of a live market example. And then from there, if you have any questions, let me know in the question section box. And I'll do my very best to answer them uh, before video number nine comes out. So um, counter trend line breaks work very, very well with helping you determine the appropriate entry. It is an entry strategy. It's not, de it's not designed to generate direction. So you still want to draw your hand drawn trend line. You still want to use a Fibonacci. You still want to use support and resistance. But it's going to be important that you understand that this is to get you in the trade. Um, this is not to tell you which direction to go. So you will still have to say up or down. I'm expecting this market to go up. The reason why is we broke the downtrend line. We're in the buy zone. The market's making higher highs and higher lows. You can clearly see that based upon uh, this uh, orange line, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And I'm just looking to buy. And I'm looking to get in at a low price and I'm trying my very best to minimize drawdown. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and focus in on the most recent market movement, which is uh, that little push. Now, what I'm waiting for is at least three bear candlesticks of retracement. They do not need to be in a row. And as you can see, we have one, two, three bearish candlesticks, which show when you have three candlesticks, it shows that we are inside of a retracement. And that's very important to notate. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring on a blue line. I like it to be blue. It could be black, pink, purple, whatever you want. I like blue, just my thing. And I uh, got a blue shirt on. <laughs> so um, we put it across the retracement. And if or when the market closes above, that's the buy. So notice how we just closed above this counter trend line in the buy zone. And I'm expecting this market to go up. So I'm going to look to buy this market. Now, the first thing that comes to my brain is I want to place a stop. I want to protect myself in case this trade doesn't go my way. And so I'm going to enter in the market buying based upon the close of this candlestick. And then I'm going to place a protective stop loss uh, 10 pips below the low U-turn. So I'm going to measure the lowest point that occurred before my counter trend line. And I'm going to measure 10 pips below there. So 41, 31. And that risk is going to be in the ballpark of... 80 pips. So I'm going to risk 80 pips here. Risk 80 pips. Now, if you ever traded with me before, I'm a big um, believer in having three times your risk. So you want a reward or a limit to be three times the risk, or the reward in this scenario will be 240 pips. And at an average pip size of $10, that's $2,400 US dollars. And so that's going to put us at the buy is right there. I'll mark that with the green line. And I'll measure 240 pips away, which will be um, right in the ballpark of 1 1.9649, 1.9649, 1.96. 49 area and that should be my 240 pip mark yeah close enough right there so let's see what happens every candlestick represents one hour trading in this example you can use this on any time frame one minute time frames 15 minute time frames i like to use them on one hour time frames or above notice how when the market moves it's going to continue to move in waves making higher highs and higher lows um, Look how the market's not going to move in a straight line. It's going to continue to move in waves. And so there will be re-entry opportunities. Look how we have one, two, three bear candlesticks. So you can bring on another counter trend line. You cannot do a counter trend line break here because you only have two. You only have two. That's part of your extension. Okay. When or if the market breaks the counter trend line again, notice how if you wanted to, you could 
re-entering the market buying or that gives your brain and your visual view of saying hey we're extending once again so right now from the original trade the market did go our way a total of 189 pips which is pretty good because you kind of do like a nice little two to one risk first reward easily walked away with 160 pips here this trade's still active um, right now we're up 92 pips I like waiting for the market to actually go the full three to one risk versus reward. The reason why is based upon our formulas. If I were to place this trade 10 times and I were to only win three out of the 10 trades, because I'm winning three times my risk, I would still make a profit. And for me, being able to generate an income even though it's only um, winning 30%, giving me the buffer to lose 70% of the time and still generate an income, that's important. It makes it very, very tough to lose. Okay, uh, quick visual view. Once again, this can be used on any any direction, up, down, sideways. Realistically, doesn't matter. Uh, you can see in this downward move, you had plethora of counter trend line breaks on the way down, counter trend line breaks, counter trend line breaks, counter trend line breaks. On the way up, you had counter trend line break, counter trend line break, and you're working on your your. Um, your third one can work on any currency pair any time frame I can pull up the pound NZD uh, one hour time frame and you can even see here in the latest bullish push it's working actually relatively well uh, you can see from this overall move counter trend line break counter trend line break and counter trend line break on the way up those three worked very very well on the way down let's see if we can get, get you a good little solid run or give me another example. We'll do, oops, not 100 bars. We need 1,000 bars of memory. Yep, 1,000 bars. And on the way down, look at all the beautiful counter trend line breaks on the way down you could have had. Um, the question that I always like to ask is this If you would have sold any of these counter trend line breaks on the way down, if you were expecting the overall market to push bearish, could you have generated an income? For the most people, they say yes. So this makes this a very, very popular, very simple, very easy strategy to apply and to duplicate because it works very, very well. Now you can begin to see that on the way up, you're already getting your counter trend line breaks on the way up. One, two, three, already successful buying opportunities. Hey everyone, this is Josh Martinez. Hopefully you learned a whole lot. Let me know if you have any questions inside the comments below. Uh, I can't wait to, to go over video 9. I haven't yet decided what I want to do yet, uh, but maybe you should give me some suggestions. You can always find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash FX Pathfinder or find me on YouTube, Twitter, or even Blab. This is Josh Martinez with Mark Turns Institute.